here we go let's install stable fusion view 1.4 on windows uh okay so here we go we deleted everything let's just cls run windows let's install stable diffusion and first thing you want to do is it's conf is conf is stable diffusion and you could probably just go to the hugging face site here because this is what has everything we want so uh first we it doesn't actually matter which we do first uh but we do want the weights and we do want the actual github um uh so here's the github for sale diffusion um there's some information here so let's get this installed so you want to clone this uh repo wherever you want it does not matter i like to clone it in the um in a folder on in githubs so you want to get clone uh and then just paste that in there you could also just install git bash and do all your git cloning from here and git bash is cool because you got ls and you know you got all the python commands that you would want uh we don't have uh anaconda in git i but you can install git in anaconda as a its own package um so don't worry about that uh cool so i don't mean to waste time here uh but yeah so we got that installed in uh and we can just check uh um it has there it is. so uh here we are back on edge we've installed the stable diffusion repo uh so now we need to get the weights and you just go to hugging face comp is as we were before um i just google searched it uh and then i went to hugging face link um we're not going to use the diffusers library um so uh you don't want to use the diffusers library um i'm not sure why like <laughs> It's like this. Uh, um, but you and once you click the one that's for the diffusers library, it's going to say the weights are intended to be used with the diffusers library. If you want to be loaded into the Confidence Stable Diffusion code list, come here. I feel like I was there and it uh, didn't bring me there. So you want to download these weights. Uh, just download those doesn't take too long it's a four gigabyte uh, set of parameters it's quite extensive it's actually a collection of files that's kind of zipped so you can actually we'll see this on the linux install uh all the tutorials i saw online that didn't actually clarify where you fucking put these weights uh and how you get the script to recognize the weights so you want to go into the models folder you want to go into the LDM and then you want to create a new directory called stable dash diffusion dash v1. Okay. And those dashes are integral to the function of this uh, program. Um, and you can see here that it does tell you to make the directory on the uh, GitHub. And these are actually Linux instructions. Linking uh, is not necessary. I don't know what, uh, if you, yeah, so you don't have to do any of this uh, except for making this directory uh, inside. Uh, you, I wouldn't do the dash P because um, it's going to give you problems. I would actually move in if you're in terminal and you want to do it all through ter or terminal or CMD, uh, you know, you want to move into this folder and you want to make this directory. And then once you do that, you want to come up here to where the weights have been downloaded. You want to show in folder and you just want to copy it. You just want to copy it here. You can cut it if you want. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, went to downloads. I copied the weights that I downloaded from Hugging Face. 
I went back into users, uh, user, uh, GitHub's, Stable Diffusion, models, LDM, Stable Diffusion V1. That's the directory I created. And then I want to paste that right in here. Okay. And now we're here. That's usually where the tutorial ends. I tell you to get the weights, put them in the folder. Um, in hindsight, when you look at this, it does have it called model.ckpt, uh, but that's not what it's named when you download it. And since this is a linking, it's not really clear that you're supposed to rename. You don't have to. Either you rename the weights to model. Uh, C packet, or you go into VS Code here. You go to the uh, relevant um, script that you want to run with it, uh, which is the text image.py. And you'll see that they have here. This is the parser, and these are the arguments that you add in terminal when you're running the program. Um, and the default is going into here to model.cpkt. So if you don't want to rename the file for some reason, you can rename it here and it'll have the same effect. Um, so just to um, just to show that, um, here, I'll copy this. Okay. And we'll just throw that right there. And we'll paste that right in there. And now, uh, assuming that everything's all good. Um, it should run. Okay. And it won't run now because we haven't done the most important step, which is to create the con environment. Um, you do need to download the GitHub before you create the con environment because the con environment includes an environment.yaml file. Uh, it's just this, which will have all the things that you need to install to get it working. It'll work. Um, so yeah, this will take some time, but it's done. Now we should be able to just activate the environment and cool. And now we will just run it. Uh, and to run this, you just have to, it's a Python file. So you just have to specify the path and okay, it couldn't find it. Um, scripts, text to your image. Yeah, I spelled scripts wrong. So Python scripts slash text to your image. Blah, blah. And it's going to give me an error. It's either going to run and run out of memory, or it's going to give me an error uh, because I'm missing some of the packages. Uh, no, it looks like it's gone. Okay, so I guess the running the environment YAML is uh, pretty important. So if you've already got an LDM set up, I would just delete that environment. Um, I would just delete that environment. Uh, re just create a new environment with the new uh, environment YAML from the config's uh, GitHub. I would re if <laughs> every new version of uh, Stable Diffusion that you want to run. I would just delete the old one, uh, obviously save any of the code changes that you made and uh, just reinstall it and then rerun that environment.yaml because it's going to have all the updated stuff on there. So we ran out of memory. What the hell? Dude, Willikers. Torch. Uh, and yes, we're running on the Tesla right now. Uh, the Tesla has 12 gigabytes of memory. Um, I was not able to get the data parallel torch.nn to work in the five minutes that I tried. Um, so, oh, you know, in the future it will work. Uh, but so we're on the Tesla. It's only got 12 gigabytes of memory. Can we ever run stable diffusion? If it looks like it's asking for uh, 10 plus 13, it looks like it's asking for 13 gigabytes of memory. How do we shrink this to make it run? Okay, so we go into the text to image.py. Now, this is really the meat of the tutorial here. This is 
this is what's not on the internet. I had to, I mean, this is definitely on the internet, but this isn't on YouTube right now. So, you know, uh, you're welcome. So here, there's a couple things that we can remove to make this run. Uh, just a couple things that waste space. First thing, checking safety. So here, we want to take out the check safety. Um, we want to load, take out the load replacement. The load replacement is the next function that's called after the check safety has been run and the image has been deemed not safe. Uh, that's all in the main, and that's all right here. Um, so check image. I could just keep this and pass that into here. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. And then we can probably just get rid of this. Okay, so that's getting rid of the check safety. Um, then we can get rid of the load replacement. We don't need that anymore. Uh, it doesn't hurt to just keep the function and have it return what was passed in. And then the put watermark, we can just forget that. Um, and then all this safety model stuff, we can get rid of that. And that should be enough, but here we go. So it's running now. And what I did was, uh, ah, you can't even see it because it's fucking, I just changed in the, as I was running the code, I changed the number of samples to Two. So we can open up get because why the fuck not? And we can do NVIDIA dash s And we can see that right now on the Tesla, we are just barely under 99% utility, but we are under and we will stay under because uh, this is it caps out. It does the memory doesn't grow too much as the program uh, runs, fortunately. So that is that. And what I did do was I did, it's not gonna work here obviously, but I did Python scripts slash text to image dot pi, that's the path to the Python file, double dash n samples two, okay? And that reduces the samples and just makes it a lot better. Um, so I think that I'm gonna start doing is, start doing this so I'll uh so that way I can see what's on the OBS actually I can oh. all right so let's say none of that worked all right and it is working now We'll see what sample comes out. Uh, and it's gonna, t it's taking its time. The temperature actually spiked up pretty high, pretty quickly, I guess, cause now there's three GPUs in there. And I did take out the top fan, uh, cause the fan I bought doesn't fit in the case and I'm out of space. The Cooler Master case um, is, too small it's a piece of shit it's not i wouldn't recommend it uh the fan positioning is in illogical places there should be more space for fans on top of the motherboard there's a spot for fans on the hard drives i don't you don't i don't not relevant uh the guy who sold me this case uh it really disappointed me, uh, but that's okay. It's not, you know, it is, it is his fault actually. But it's neither here nor there. 27 minutes is getting too long. So all you gotta do, if that doesn't work, is type in half. You type in half, that'll shrink the model in half, and that'll definitely work. You type in half, and then if you have to, go double dash n samples one, and you'll get two images with half the model size. You take out all of these things, it should, work thank you very much 
we'll install Linux next. Um, uh, I'll probably do an aside just to show how this came out and, uh, you know, have a, just thank you.